Good morning, Mount Olive Church, friends of Mount Olive Church. Happy Wednesday to you. Andrew Short here, filling in for Brother Ron today. Um, Ron's on vacation, I believe he told me. So be filling in for him. I'm going to share my screen here and um, hopefully you've got a chance to watch. Well, hopefully, first of all, you had a chance to be at church with us on Sunday and got to at least listen to Brother TJ's message and then um, appreciate Brother Drew filling in for him on Monday and Brother Jody's devotion yesterday. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch and uh, listen to all those. Um, also, hopefully, uh, if you watched Brother Jody's yesterday, mine is going to be on very much the same thing, um, same idea, I suppose, anyway, maybe a little bit different take on it. So. I guess uh, that um, says how important this one point was, or at least it was to me and Jody. So, um, so you know, Brother TJ was t talking about, um, you know, learning about faith. And and the second point he made there was to watch. And um, much like Brother Jody, my, my take was kind of the same, a little bit different. Mine wasn't from a hunting perspective. I'm too big a chicken to climb in a tree stand. So I definitely don't have any pictures from a tree stand. I, would, uh, I wouldn't make it very long up there. But uh, same verse. Um, and we were in Habakkuk chapter two. And, and the side note here, if you've not had a chance to join in with us um, on the Facebook group there talking about Habakkuk and, and the questions and the comments and stuff, um, do that. It, it's really been a blessing to me and, and I think all of us to hear other people speak about what they're thinking and, and just read those comments. And it's nice to have our private little group there that we can talk with. So that's just kind of a little uh, side note there for you. So if you've not done that, talk to Brother TJ, Brother Jody, get in on that with us. It's been it's been a joy to do. But so Habakkuk chapter two, verse one, he says, I will stand upon my watch. You know, first thing here, he stands upon his watch, right? Um, he's not laid back in a recliner, um, you know, not paying attention to anything. Brother Jody made the point of, you know, it wouldn't do any good to be asleep in a tree stand. He's not. I will stand upon my watch. I have this mental image of somebody, you know, standing and looking, gazing out the window. But says, and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm approved. It gives this visual of somebody that's just ready to go watching exactly what's going to happen. And so Brother Jody was was talking about the tree stand and, and Brother TJ talked about the watchman in a tower, you know, looking out and seeing the enemy coming. And and so when I was sitting in church, I, I, this thought kind of came to me from a, from a football game or, you know, enter in any sport you want. TJ was talking about the eye in the sky there with the basketball practices. And I went to, to football, even though I'm not necessarily a football guy. Um, I like football, um, but, you know, it's not really my, my favorite sport. But this uh, kind of hit me. This on the left there, that's my view how the press box at Central High School when I get to do the PA. Uh, I'll be doing that here in a few months for, for Coach Jay. Looking forward to that. But my view from there, and, and it's so awesome. Like as cool as your view is at Central High School football game, mine's mine's even better. Um, unless you're the coaches, I guess, on top of the press box, maybe theirs is a little better. But if you're looking out from above, you can just you can see everything, right? Um, you're above all the clutter that would get in the way of what you really need to see. When I'm looking out this window, I can basically, unless Coach Dameron, you know, is standing up right in front of me, um, I I can see everything you know, that I need to see there. I'm above it, right? Whereas this is just kind of a random shot I found on the internet. This is not Central High School. But uh, if you're on ground level there, if I'm standing behind the players down there, I, I can't see anything, right? All the clutter, all the mess, all the everything is getting in the way of my vision. And so that above view, like Brother Jody in the tree stand or the watchman in the tower is is, is better. Um, so here, uh, you know, next verse is here, Jesus talking to the disciples. Matthew chapter 26, this is, of course, right toward the end of his time on this earth. He says in verse 40, and he cometh unto the disciples and finds them asleep. He had asked them to watch and pray with him, and they fall asleep. And said unto Peter, what, could you not watch with me even one hour? And in verse 41, this is, this is Jesus telling his disciples, you know, if anybody should have had a chance to have this whole deal figured out, it was the disciples, right? But they didn't. Uh, in verse 41 here, Jesus says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Watch and pray. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So even the disciples that were inches away from Jesus, they still had to watch. They still had to be ready to watch. Their flesh was weak, just like ours is today. That's that's a reminder and also maybe a little bit of a, a makes you feel a little bit better about your own self that 
they were inches physically from Jesus and they still needed that reminder to watch. So finishing up here with just three quick thoughts I had on, on watching this, you know, as I'm watching, number one, I want to be above, you know, we've kind of covered that from the tree stand to the watchtower to the football uh, being above. And, and of course, in our own lives, we're not going to climb on top of the house, but it's from an eternal heavenly perspective, right? Above my perspective, Kind of sometimes you get mired in the day to day here and your perspective isn't great because you're worried about something silly. Right. Um, you know, I'm, I'm five minutes late to work and I'm, I'm a mess the rest of the day. It's that's not a, a heavenly, eternal, heavenly perspective. So number one, above, look at things with God from above. Right. Number two, alone. Now, I don't mean that I'm going to try to do everything on my own, but find time to be alone with God. Watch from being alone with God. Start your morning, start my morning off uh, having some alone time with God. Find time to get alone with him. Make that a focus in our lives. I know I can certainly do a lot better job of that. And then number three, of course, number one's above, looking from above. Number two, alone. Number three, always, right? You don't get to take time off. Um, you can't decide, oh, okay, I'm, for a week or two here, I'm going to step back to go back to TJ's first message. And, and and just take a break. No, it, it has to be always, right? I have to be vigilant. First Peter 5, 8, there was another verse that TJ and Jody both used, but be vigilant. It's consistency. It's always, it's every single day, every single minute of every day. I have to watch with God's help. I have to watch and keep an eye out for the enemy, both the enemy coming and for blessings coming and just keep that perspective and that watch from above and find a long time with God. And again, I have to always do that, right? It's that consistency of, of doing that every day. So hopefully you got something out of that. And see if I can stop my presenting here. There we go. And hopefully we will get to see you guys soon. Uh, come to church and see us around Wednesday. Again, join that Facebook group if, you, if that's something you would want to do. We would enjoy that. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Have a great rest of the week.